Hey guys, today's play a game of I Am Setsuna. So this is a JRPG that was released back in 2016, developed by Tokyo RPG Factory. Um, and yeah, this game interested me because it builds itself kind of as a Chrono Trigger spiritual uh, successor type of game, or at least very inspired by Chrono Trigger. And Chrono Trigger is one of my all-time favorite RPGs, not just JRPGs. So you know, I had to check this one out. I know it came out um, a while ago, but I never got the chance to check it out until now. So let's do it now. Turn on in-game voices, sure. All right. Old masked man. Haps Hapsper. Okay, kind of like Jasper from Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Hapsper. No, Endear. I'll just be Endear. Okay. Um. Right, let's go. Alright, so it's using this um, 3D graphics, of course, um, but it's using kind of chibi chibi-ish characters, which a lot of JRPGs do, actually. I'm not really a huge fan of this look in particular. I don't like the chibi 3D look, but, you know, a lot of JRPGs do this. Alright, let's see the battle system here. Come on, this, this should be easy. It's like a little freaking penguin thing. Yep, yeah, active time battle, that's kind of like Chrono Trigger, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, the, the combat system is pretty much exactly like Chrono Trigger. You wait for um, your meter and stuff to uh, charge up and then you can attack. So it's a, it's a turn-based combat system, but it's got semi-real-time elements, kind of like Chrono Trigger, exactly. So, yeah. So if you guys are familiar with Chrono Trigger's combat system, then this should be familiar. Man, more penguins. Cyclone, okay. So, <laughs> this is actually exactly the same tech as Chrono Trigger's, um, uh, Chrono, I mean, from Chrono Trigger's tech. So, let's see, no equip, equip command. Gotta equip it, right? So, let's see, equip weapon. Oh, Sprit Knight. Here's a Sprit Knight Cyclone. Yep, so now I can use the tech and Cyclone. This is exactly the same name of the tech that Chrono had from Chrono Trigger. So, yep, Cyclone. I remember that one. How dare you. How dare you. Yeah, take that. I think he doesn't see the save point here. There's a save point here. Save point. Alright, let's go. Momentum mode, okay.
I took care of it. Five thousand gold, nice. So generous. Killer. Uh, okay. Kill some random 18 year old girl? Why not? Sure, no problem. I am Setsuna, but I'm not Setsuna, I'm Endear. <laughs> Who is Setsuna, right? I'm guessing that's the 18 year old girl. Setsuna sounds like a girl's name, so I think that's what probably it is. So I had to kill her before they sacrifice her. <laughs> Sounds kind of uh, sad and depressing, honestly, for the girl. Either she gets killed or sacrificed, either way she dies. Take your stuff. No, it's locked. It sucks. Usually they let me take my their stuff without consequence. In JRPGs, you can usually you can do that, right? Just take people's stuff, and they won't say anything. They won't say a word. his daughter. Is that her? Nope. She's too young, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna steal your water. That's your, your premium spring water I stole. talks about her. If 
freaking JRPG NPCs, man, they always say the same things. It's really, uh, most of it, alright, uh, most of it's like really nonsense, right? <laughs> it's like, just useless dialogue. Oh, 5,000 gold, sure, that's, I already have 10 actually. Hmm, let's get some ether then. Paralysis, confusion, okay, Athenian water, revise and lockdown character. All the JRPG NPCs, they have such useless dialogue. Wide-eyed boy. So Sasuna is the name of the girl who's going to be sacrificed, right? I'm, I mean, that's... I'm guessing that. Sasuna is that girl. Who's going to be sacrificed. Yep. Mother and daughter both setting up a sacrifice. Huh. Okay. Where else can I go? Can I go here? That's pretty traditional stuff. I guess maybe try go here. This looks like the road to Setsuna. Yeah, uh, no, I don't think it's random encounters because you just see them on the screen, of course. Yeah. These days, um, modern RPGs, they do not do random encounters anymore because people, like, you know, find that kind of annoying. So yeah, these days most modern RPGs will have the the enemies on the screen. Yeah. I guess, um, yeah. Because random encounters, I get it, it is annoying.
That's Satsuna, right? Let's talk to her. Sword to swing my sword. I don't think I'm really gonna kill her, right? Because the, <laughs> the name of the game is I am Setsuna, so she's probably. No. I am Setsuna. Yeah, she said it. If you change the name of Setsuna, it would be weird, right? <laughs> Okay. Combo. See, this combo system is also from Kono Trigger, right? That you can have a combination attack. That's actually exactly the same as Kono Trigger when you have that X attack. Okay. Fine. <laughs> 
断しないでですよしやるわやるわねやるわね,やるわねよしよし先を急ぎましょう。やるぞ見切れるか抵抗は無駄だやるわはいへっやるぞはっできるへっ当然の冒険に切れぬものはない見切れるかしらやるわ甘いはい甘いやるぞ,やるぞ<笑>先を急ぎましょう Do it with Satsuna now, too. Okay, let's see. Small light, we could check on. Better strength and weapon. No tempering up of items on okay. I like how they have the 8 bit versions displayed below, even though they're never going to see them in the actual game. <laughs> But they have the 8 bit versions of these guys too, of the characters. Huh? Interesting. Boss fight. Alright, boss fight time. よし。
complete my duty, that should also fulfill your goal, my death. You want to exchange phone numbers? <laughs> Alright, anyways. Sure. Um, sure, yeah. So let's go do the Falling Snow Monument. She doesn't even know that she, she she's there with me. I wish chair RPGs would put more effort into the dialogues. Like she didn't even notice that Suno was there with me. Was it? Right. Wow, she's confessing her feelings for me. But I was gonna kill her. <laughs> wow. Okay. We just met. But we just met. Too bad she's gonna die now after confessing her feelings for me. <laughs> oh man.
wonder if what if I said no? What, what would happen? thousand gold. Ooh, she gets to stay with me. friendly. Hermit crab, but yeah. Whatever. Shouldn't be that powerful. Oh man, okay, there's more. Sure. I guess if you, if that's kind of annoying thing is that if um, I have multiple, multiple party members who can do a combo, I have to do a combo, so it's like I, I'm forced to do a dual tech even though I really just want to do a single tech sometimes. Oh man, 
The sea monster. Our ship. <laughs> oh, of course, we survived somehow. <laughs> Normally, you will not survive that, right? If you're in the middle of the ocean, you get, your ship gets capsized. There's no way you can survive that. But of course, it's a video game, so we always survive this stuff and somehow wash up off a shore on an island. Yeah, 15 to 27, okay, that's a huge increase actually. Pretty big upgrade. 
almost double the attack, actually. Of course, everyone survived. <laughs> the ship gets capsized. Oh man. <laughs> what if I said leave him? Satsuna, she said it again. Knitter. Okay, sure. joining us then. Okay. Thought he would join us since we got a name from him. Oh, what's over here? He survived too? Everyone survived. Food available. What the heck? Uh, apothecary. I'm good. Uh, 
into a dagger. Steal her stuff. There. Babyface young man. He's just way a mess to look tough. Thank you. 
done. Um,
Shuriken on her head. <laughs> oh, come on.
Stop here, but this is I am Setsuna. Uh, to me, it's um, yeah, it definitely takes some inspiration from Chrono Trigger, although it's nothing like Chrono Trigger when it comes to you know everything else. But yeah, uh, I guess if you guys are looking for um, that's a it's an okay JRPG, it has some charm to it, but I wouldn't say it's like a great JRPG or anything. 
it's a pretty bog standard chair RPG to me, but it definitely has some charms. So, anyways, guys, that's I am Setsuna. Uh, if you like a nice turn-based uh, chair RPG, um, with a little bit of charm to it, I guess you can pick this one up. So, so guys, thanks for watching.